Hello and welcome to a video about the alternate project unit in TBC Trimble Business Center. This feature was introduced in TBC version 4.10 and is included in later versions. So we'll cover the most common application, setting the alternate project unit, and places that the alternate project unit displays, namely labels, reports, the inverse command, and the scale bar. Here we have a data set from the United States in Southern Colorado. The public land survey system, for those who do not know, is measured in a unit called the chain. One chain is equal to 66 US survey feet, or 20.12 meters. Here on the southern line of section two, each quarter section is 40.085 chains in length. So here we have our plan drafted in Triple Business Center. And section two, and the lower portion of it, each section is 2,645, 2,646 feet. Without pulling out our calculator, how do we compare that to the plan? Fear not, we have a solution. Up here in the project settings in Triple Business Center, under units, distance, if we scroll down, we can get to the alternate project unit. Look at that, almost like what this is, what the video is on. So under display, we can set a variety of units. Currently my project is in the US survey foot. So if I wanted to, I could have my, um, my labels on my plan display in meters or miles or yards or anything like that. But one of my options here is the chain. The abbreviation here can be edited, it is CH. That is for entering it into commands like single and double proportioning or Kogo routines. And I can select the decimal precision that I want my unit display to. Three decimals should be plenty for our needs. So here we go. Again, the southern portion of section two, 40.087, 40.094. If we take a look back at our plan here, we've got 40.085 and 40.085, so we have a pretty good agreement there. So there's the first place that the alternate project unit will display is in the labels. The second place is in reports. Here I have a single proportioning report. But as you can see on here, we have the measured grid and measured ground distances in displayed in both feet and in chains. Pretty cool. And down here on proportion segments, we have the record distance. I entered it in chains, but it will display it in feet as well. And then we have our grid and ground distances in both feet and chains. I'm gonna go back to the plan view now. So in the inverse command, you select a point to go from and to, and you are given a series of outputs in all of our distances. Grid distance, delta elevation, ellipsoid distance, ground distance, delta height. All of these distances are given in our project unit, as well as our alternate project unit. So there's the inverse command. And finally, the scale bar. To check out the scale bar, we go back to sheet view. And we go down here where I have it at the bottom. Uh, your scale bar in TBC is always associated with a Dyna view. So you can have multiple views with multiple scale bars all associated to one another on a single drafting sheet. Here in the scale bar, we have feet on the lower portion of the scale bar and chains on the upper portion with separate distance um, segments on the scale bar. Everything in this can be customized and I have it here worked out to be in nice even numbers. And there's the alternate project unit. Let me know if there's something that you liked about this video. Let me know if there's something you didn't like about this video. Looking forward to hearing back from you in the comments.